Hey, it's Ali here. This week we're doing something different for Food for Thought. We're going for a cooking class. I'm here at Baking Barn by Just Heavenly. It's in the heart of Bangsa, a cozy little semi D house that has a wonderful kitchen inside where you can learn all the secrets of great cooking. Owner Nigel Skelchi will be teaching us the class and today we're going to learn all about how to make salt beef and more. So let's get cooking, come on! We're going to be making salt beef. Actually, um, I've already made the salt beef because it needs about 10 days to pickle. Okay. So today I'm going to show you how to make salt tongue. Then I'm going to teach you how to make a uh, wheat net roast chicken. Okay, then we're gonna make a roast chicken jam and sambal blachan sandwich. Blachan, that's a oh, <laughs> nice combination. And of course, a nice refreshing cold and tiny gazpacho. Mm -mm. Perfect for a hot day like yes, today. Yes, absolutely. So, ready to get cooking? Yep. Yes! <laughs> We started out with an easy recipe for a quick weeknight roast chicken. If you can't finish the whole roast chicken, shred up the flesh and use it in a chicken and jam sandwich. I never knew that marmalade and sambal balachan together could taste so good. The salt beef or tongue needs to be prepared at least 10 days in advance, but once you get to eat it, it's worth the wait. A chilled coconut souffle with gula malaka. The thing is, with knives like this, we see it as a straight edge knife, right? But actually it's not, you know, it's a nice little, 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 little teeth. Oh, okay. okay. And what this does when you do it, okay, if you look at it under a microscope, it's like that. Um, what this does is, it straightens out the teeth again. Okay? However, after a while, all those little teeth, the bits do drop off, all right? And they're very, very minute. Some might end up in your food, but you'll just pass it out like it's not that sharp. They might drop off. That's why your knife gets blunt. That's why you bring it to the sharpener, professional sharpener, to get it sharpened again, so that you have these little, little, little teeth. Okay, but every time you use it, what happens is these teeth get out of alignment and that's why they get a little blunt but when you use the steel on it it straightens them out again so you get those teeth and become sharp again okay. that's all this is how you dice an onion all right uh, just take off the top layer now these sort of red onions tend to be a little muddy okay so always take off the top layer and take off one layer of onion. I never knew how easy it was to make the refreshing Italian soup gazpacho. in one area, small area, yep. do it from here, you see where it goes? Yep. It goes, it spreads out further, so it's more even. Yeah. Fast forward, four hours finish it would be. Thanks Nigel! No worries, oh, my, my pleasure. 
It was oh. a lovely. It was lovely having you. Hey, thank you, and I've learned so much. I I cook a lot, you know, but today I just. You gave so many useful tips and yes, and the food was fantastic. I even get to take it home. <laughs> Dinner, breakfast tomorrow, baking bard. If you want to try it for yourself, make sure you tune in to win a cooking class for two on Food for Thought. But we do the thinking and you do the eating. See you next time. Bye. Bye.